Good evening, my dear students. Welcome back to Science Classroom. We are dealing with sixth chapter, flame and combustion. And today we are going through the activity, which is six point one. Let us see what is there. Six point one activity. In this activity, collect some material like straw, matchstick, kerosene, oil, paper, iron nails, stone pieces, glass, etc. Which are the straw? Then matchsticks. Then. Kerosene oil, paper, iron nails, stone pieces. glass etc then what we have to do under the supervision of your teacher try to burn each of the each of this materials one by one uh, if combustion take place mark the material combustible otherwise mark it as non combustible so the materials some more materials are there So, uh, so let us see the materials. We, we will write the materials in left hand side, and we will see uh, whether it is combustible or what material. And now. And first is wood. Wood burns, okay. And uh, in the presence of oxygen, it burns, and uh, um, it will produce flame. So we can write it as it is combustible. Okay. So we will take combustible here. Then what is next is paper. Paper. Whether it uh, it is combustible or non-combustible, it will burn and produce heat or light. So it is combustible. Then iron nails. Did you try to burn iron nails in your childhood or any time? Is it combustible? It will burn or produce any heat or anything. If you um, heat it for some time, it will change the the iron will become hot, but it won't burn. So no, so it is non-combustible. Iron nails non-combustible. Then kerosene oil. Kerosene oil. We studied that part of petroleum. Kerosene oil. <coughs> Is it uh, burns and produce heat or light? Kerosene oil. If we if we are burning kerosene oil, it will produce heat and also light. So kerosene oil is combustible. What is next? Oil. 
So next is stone, stone piece, stone piece. What will happen if a stone piece is introduced to heat? Whether it will burn, whether the stone piece will burn and produce heat or light, it won't. Stone piece won't produce heat or light if it is introduced to the light or uh, to the fire. So it is non combustible. And uh, what is next? straw we know while we are uh, having juice or anything uh, juice or any drink we will use a straw it is made of plastic so when we are burning the straw we are introducing it to the light source or um, to the we are introducing it to it for burning what happens the straw will burn so it is combustible it will produce heat or light okay and what about uh, the next one charcoal we studied in our last class charcoal 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 will if we are uh, introducing to um, the fire what will happen charcoal will burn and it is combustible it will produce light and heat so no, we studied in our last class about charcoal. Then matchsticks. Matchsticks. If you are uh, uh, matchstick, if you are rubbing in the surface of matchbox, what will happen? It will burn. The the burning side of um, the substance filled for burning will burn and also the matchstick also will burn okay it will produce heat and light and what is left uh, glass is left there uh, glass glass is combustible or not non-combustible if you burn glass or we are introducing to a burning um, burning um, source okay or a fire what will happen on the um, we are introducing to the fire what will happen to the glass whether it will um, burn or it will produce heat or light it won't produce so it is non combustible so most of uh, this thing everybody knows so uh, can you add some more materials to the list and uh, you can um, uh, write the write the materials in this part and you can check whether it is combustible or non combustible and according to that you can mark the post both if it is burning and um, producing heat uh, heat and sorry light and flame okay we can say it as combustible if it is not producing light then uh, light and heat then we can say it is non combustible okay So what's next? Next is activity six point two. Six point two. Okay, the activity how to be carried out with the help of your teacher, and also if you you can also do that, and uh, uh, it is. Um, based on a candle using a candle we are doing some experiment <coughs> fix a lighted candle candle on the table okay let us do this this let it be the table okay this one is the table and fixing one 
lighted candle and candle on the table okay, it is lighted and what we have to do put a glass chimney over the candle and rest it on a few wooden blocks we have to put some wooden blocks over here and one chimney over it like this then what happens so the air can en enter from the it is on the wooden blocks so the air can enter <coughs> from here and also here air can enter so we have to observe what happens to the flame okay now in this case the flame will be burning with no uh, not producing much heat it will be burning and not so not heat uh, um, without producing more smoke it will be burning so let us move to the next step again we are removing this wooden wooden part wooden things and we are making we are resting this on the chimney on the table and the candle uh, and the candle is also placed on the table where the chimney is placed now no air passage is there through the down side okay only air passage is through the upper side what we can observe what we can observe here we can observe that the flickering sound some sound will be heard and the flame will be producing more smoke also okay more smoke will be produced and what we can what is the next step we have to do the next step we are going to place one plate over this one plate one plate over this okay you are going to cover it with a plate what will happen to this flame what will happens the flame the burning of the candle will be put off okay the burning of the candle will be put off so what we observe from this uh, the, uh, activity and from this we can we can get the following observation for combustion air is necessary for combustion air is necessary for combustion air is necessary from activity 6.2 we get for for combustion air is necessary then in the case of first case when we place the um place the chimney on the wooden wooden surface in the first case what happened the flame is burning flame is burning interrupted and when it is placed on the table the chimney is placed on the table what happened the flame produce smokes smoke and also flickering and in the third case when we place the plate over that what happen the flame put off so we understand for combustion air is necessary and we studied that during combustion heat and light is produced during combustion heat and light is produced so one doubt will come whether a doubt will come like this mm. we have learned that 
sun is burning okay sun produces its own the power is gone so we were discussing about the sun that time current power went off so let's once again the sun while we are uh, looking the sun we will see that in the case of sun it produces a lot of heat and light heat and light and according to our studies on burning which is producing heat and light it is combustion so what is happening in the case of sun okay in the sun surface a lot of nuclear reactions occurs in the surface of sun a lot of nuclear reactions are occurring due to that it is producing heat and light okay the sun produces sun produces heat and light through nuclear reaction nuclear reaction and about this we will study in our higher classes only only this much if a question is asked like this um a sun um in the case of sun it is producing a lot of heat and light then whether combustion is happening so according to our studies um a material or any object which is on burning produces heat and light combustion is happening but in the case of sun a lot of nuclear reactions are happening in sun so heat and light is produced so due to the power supply it uh, the classes have been interrupted i think you have uh, till here the class is okay and watch the video um and in the first part you have to add some more uh, materials and check whether it is combustible or non combustible you check on heat um on bringing near the heat whether it is burning and producing light and heat if it is producing light and heat then you write under the combust uh, combustion or combustible and it is not producing heat and light right in the side of non combustible and this is all for today thank you so much